So I've been using this Melnor 4 Zone Hose Timer for a year now, and there's some really great features about this particular timer, but there are also a few flaws. So let me go over that today and whether you should buy it or pass and move on to another product. One of the things that I like about this specific model is it's really easy to operate. All you need to do to toggle between all the menus is press this little triangular button up the top here. So the first one here is just setting the clock and the time. So it is Saturday today and it is 4.50, so we can leave that there. And you just press that button again and it goes to auto and that means it's going to run exactly as you've had it set up which i think is great you program this and forget about it so if you're doing a vegetable garden you want to keep water on it you can set this up and it's going to water your vegetable gardens at the exact same time every day if you set it up that way if you are still interested in this timer i'll leave a link to this and similar models down in the description below so you can check them out for yourself and get one if you think this is a good fit for you then over the winter, if you do need to remove the batteries, remove the batteries and then put them back in, and it'll actually remember everything, which is pretty neat. You don't have to reprogram everything to what you had on before. So if you've got a lot of rain coming, or it's been raining for a while, and you want to turn off your sprinklers, put a rain delay on, you actually have to come down and do that manually. So if it's pouring with rain, you don't want to have to come outside. You'd have to come out and press the off button, like so, and then it would turn it off completely. Or you could just put the rain delay on, if you want to get fancy, you could get the automated rain sensor that would plug in here and then plug into the soil and then this would do this for you. I didn't get that and maybe I should have bought that because that was one of the flaws of the system was you'd have to go outside if it was pouring with rain and turn it off. I'll show you this in action, but this brings up the worst point about this Melnor 4 zone timer and well, this zone here won't turn off. So it was going the other day and my wife had her vegetable garden being watered because we were using this for that too. and um well it didn't shut off but the only way to shut it off was to turn the water off so we <laughs> have since stopped using this and i'm in the market for a new timer so that's the bad part about this it only lasted a year before it broke so i am going to try and fix it i think i could get some of the screws out here and see if maybe there's something in there blocking the valve from closing if i were looking for a timer this is actually a really good bit of kit but i just went buy a new one after Having this problem here if something fails i couldn't go and buy another one unless i got a really good run out of it and a year is not good enough for a product for me useful please do give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content coming up